Hello, all you wonderful Virgos. This is Maxine Taylor, and I've got your November 2019 astrology forecast. And look at here, it's just wonderful. Look at all this action going on here. So let me tell you what a, it looks like. First of all, Mars, the red planet, the planet of action and energy has been sitting in your second house of money. So uh, wherever Mars is, that's what comes first to us. And so money is important. You can create more of it. It's a get it and spend it thing. And then you get it, you spend it. But it's a terrific flow. And uh, I love that. Now on the 19th and 20th, right at between, right around those two dates, Mars enters your third house of ideas and communication and you're going to be shooting from the hip when mars mars rules gunfire mars is very direct and um it it just goes right to the point so you're going to find that you are going to tell it like it is um with mars in the third you want to speak you want to travel you can easily get bored so plan little projects, maybe plan little trips where you're able to just hop in the car and take off running. That's what I would do. Now, Mercury, the blue planet, is what we think about and talk about. It is retrograde until the 20th of the month. Now, uh, retrograde means it appears to be moving backwards in the heavens. It's not, but it appears to be. And that's how it feels like everything's backwards and confused. And so we do not start new projects under our retrograde Mercury. If you're gonna hop in the car and go someplace, um, I know that you're detail oriented Virgo, that's you. So make sure that you've got enough gas in the tank and you cross the T's and dot the I's like you always do. But you don't wanna start a new project while ret uh, Mercury is retrograde. Mercury will come out of retrograde and go direct on the 20th of the month. But we will still be in the shadow of the retrograde Mercury till December 8th, which means this. Mercury goes officially direct, comes out of retrograde on the 20th and 21st. If you can wait until after the 8th of December to start a new project, it will have a greater success of uh, completion of uh, longevity than if you uh, jump right into a new project, say on the 22nd, if you possibly can, okay? Now, the sun, the yellow planet, the giver of life is in that third house and you've got terrific ideas and you're ready to travel and have a terrific time. Um, you've got great communicative skills. On the 22nd, it moves into the fourth house of home family, real estate, and the center of your life then becomes home, family, and real estate, nurturing. Venus, the pink planet, love, money, beauty. You're loving your home. You're loving being home. And then on the 25th, after enjoying family, etc. It moves into your fifth house of fun and games. And I'm encouraging you to party and have a blast. Now the fifth house is also children. And so enjoying your children is in the picture and your children are really enjoying being with you. In addition to all that, we have a full moon on the 12th in 20 degrees of Taurus in your ninth house, you're seeing a much bigger picture. The ninth house is your higher mind. It's the big picture. It's higher education. It's seeing the far horizon and options you did not know you had. I love it. I love it. And then the new moon on the 26th is in four of Sag in your fourth house. And so, while the full moon says, I got, I want to go someplace. That's when things come to a head. 
the new moon reminds you, don't forget about home and family. And that's where the energy starts growing again. We have the full moon and the energy is waning. And two days before the new moon, we're in the darkened moon where there, the energy is quite low. And then the new moon says, go home, enjoy your house, enjoy your family. So that's your month. I love it. And I hope you'll join me next month when once again, I look at your forecast. Till then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. <laughs>